Hi everybody, hope you're well. Today I'll read from a book titled House is a House is a House is a House is a House, uh, Architectures and Collaborations of Johnson Mark Lee, published by Birhoiser. Reto Geiser wrote, Educated in the United States with academic teaching experience in Europe, Johnston Markley are based in Los Angeles and maintain strong cultural connections around the world. They are representative of a generation that cut itself loose from the polemical positions of its precursors and they have discovered limitless opportunities in this freedom. Unconcerned with uh, disciplinary ideologies and with the ways in which others would position their practice within them, Johnston Markley are committed to making a direct and tangible contribution to the built environment. Despite the loose fit of their work relative to established trends and frameworks, their practice is deeply rooted in the culture of architecture. Through the re-evaluation of modernist dogma and the contamination of known idioms with alien forms and sensibilities, their work operates between divergent poles both within and outside of architecture. By embracing this middle ground as its own category, Sharon Johnston and Mark Lee have succeeded in creating a paradoxical identity. They are at home between the high and the low, the present and the past, the contextual and the autonomous. Accordingly, this book does not favor a singular point of view, but instead creates a conversation among a variety of interests and approaches as a means to present the recurring themes of their practice. In many ways, house is a house is a house is a house is a house marks the end of Johnston Mark Lee's formative period. Focusing upon five residential projects, as the title's repetition suggests, and including the same number of critical voices and artists' reflections of the work, this publication resists the conventional format of an architectural monograph. It is, rather, an open-ended contemplation of nearly 20 years of architectural experimentation in which the house has served as a testing lab. In the context of Los Angeles, a city characterized by rapid change and redevelopment, Johnston Mark Lee's deep appreciation of architectural history may seem slightly unusual. In a design milieu preoccupied with formal novelty, emergent technology and a willful disdain for historicism, a relaxed relationship to precedent runs the risk of appearing anachronistic. Sharon Johnston and Mark Lee, however, are not only as well versed in architectural history as they are in popular culture, but they are also among few in the field who are able to comfortably integrate them without compromising their independence as designers. They acknowledge a wide range of divergent influences in their work and consequently don't have the impetus at the start of every project of being innovative. As is the case with many Southern California architects, Johnston Mark Lee launched their practice with residential projects, continuing the tradition that began with early modernist experiments in the first decades of the 20th century, followed by the Case Study House program shortly after the Second World War. The firm's first project in Los Angeles was to replace a house that had been destroyed in a fire, the structure for which Morphosis 2468 House had served as an annex. As one of Tom Main and Michael Rotondi's first projects built in the heyday of postmodernism, the house is a simple box with yellow window frames, blue lintels, red scuppers and a pyramidal roof. Rather than forcing a confrontation with or renunciation of this earlier project, Johnston Mark Lee recognizes its significance and uses its history as a starting point for their response. Through the strategic placement of windows to create a dynamically unbalanced composition and the use of highly saturated colors for interior spaces contrasted by a muted gray exterior, Johnston Mark Lee depart from the platonic geometry, symbolic elements and primary colors of the existing structure and they thereby challenge its iconic character. By reflecting the existing context conceptually rather than figuratively, Johnson Mark Lee enlists close formal observation informed by historical knowledge to create a distinctive and contemporary architectural response. 
Architectural representation not only informed the conception of this project, but it also significantly influenced its public reception. In House for Sale, a series of photographs commissioned by the architects to document the sale house, the photographer Livia Corona alludes to the role of architectural imagery and especially the theatricality of the project's postmodern heritage. In her photographs, she staged a group of elderly people dressed to match with or contrast the intense color shades of pink, turquoise and yellow-orange applied to the interior volumes of the house. Deliberately clashing the abstract and neutral shades of white and grey with the lively, oversaturated colors and surreal scenes that unfold within the house, this hyperesthetic yet ironic representation of Johnston Mark Lee's project stresses the reversal of the original scheme and substantiates the amalgamation of past and present in their work. In keeping with today's uh, media-driven world, uh, Johnston Mark Lee has uh, sustained an ongoing interest in elaborate forms of representation throughout their work. Photographic collaborations such as those presented in this book are evidence of the architect's interest in pushing the limits of architectural representation, while reframing from the prevalent architectural eye candy facilitated by current rendering techniques. Instead, they reappropriate the technique of collage as it was used to shape architectural representation in the early 20th century. Frequently assembled through the composition of historical pictures, these artifacts not only serve as a means to document and disseminate the work, but also provide a cultural historical background for it. This approach has its origins in the design for the Hill House, a project located in Pacific Palisades near a number of well-known mid-century case study houses. In the process of designing it, Johnson Mark Lee adopted Julius Schulman's iconic nighttime photograph of case study house 22 by Pierre Koenig. Rather than adding additional layers of visual information to the photograph, the architects subtracted wide areas from the image of the existing house to represent the building mass of their proposal. By retouching the cantilevered roof and the hovering floor slab, they emphasized the house relationship to its hillside site and its view of the sprawling city unfolding below. More than a simple means of visual communication, this collage combines a cultural historical model with a contemporary experiment with form to manifest the ambition of the project. By means of visual aggregation, the architects locate architectural history at the core of their work and establish an exchange with protagonists from the past. While Johnson Mark Lee's collages aren't necessarily unique as images, it is curious to trace how the adjustment of historical precedent is made productive in their work. Similar to the artist John Baldessari's uh, crowd with shape of reason missing, the crisp white geometric surfaces that characterize their projects are redacted from a layered background composed of photographic references and colored paper. Instead of defining their intervention in detail, they leave the architectural object blank. It is liberated from a sense of materiality and scale and alludes to the autonomy of the project. By dematerializing the architectural image of the project through a kind of meta-abstraction, it equally reinforces their predilection for shape and edge over surface and construction. The collages are consequently more than a particular choice of architectural representation. They serve as working images in the design process and as post facto presentation drawings at once. The source of architectural forms is far less essential to Johnston Mark Lee than spatial properties and performative qualities. Responding directly to the prevalent formal experiments in California exemplified by figures including Frank Gehry, Eric Owen Moss and Greg Lean, and promoted by institutions such as SciArc and UCLA, Johnston Mark Lee takes uh, geometry as a tool rather than an end in itself. For instance, their fascination with complex curvature is explored more through Boolean operations than it is through parametric computation. While the office uh, takes advantage of contemporary computational practice, their projects could also have been designed with traditional representational means. 
Deliberately distancing themselves uh, from the computation center, the parametric school, Johnston Mark Lee approached geometry in a somewhat archaic fashion that uses aesthetic reduction and crudeness as the foundation for a formal vocabulary that has driven the practice over the course of the last two decades. The book was designed in Houston by Noemi Mollet, Andre Togeiser, and printed in Germany by Kösel. Ask for it at your local bookstore. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye.